Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter 8 of Dragon Master's Secret of the Water Dragon. Chapter 8. Shoe to the Rescue. Higher, fly above the smoke, Griffith yelled over the roar of the flames. Vulcan and Capri flew above the fire. Then a blue streak darted out in front of them. It was Bo riding his dragon. But Bo isn't supposed to be outside, thought Drake. A powerful wave of water streamed out of Shu's mouth. The fire sizzled, then went out. I'm sorry I did not stay behind, Bo told Griffith. But when I looked outside and saw the smoke, Shu and I just had to help. You did well, Griffith told him. Bo smiled proudly. Rory, do you have the stone? Griffith called out. Rory opened the bag. The big green dragon stone glittered inside. Got it, she yelled back. Then to the castle. Hurry, the wizard ordered. They quickly flew back to the caves and climbed off the dragons. Oh, that was awesome, said Anna. Shu did a great job putting out that fire. And, Rory, you did a great job getting back the dragon stone. Thanks, Rory said. Drake is the one who spotted it. So how did that raven guy just vanish? Anna asked. He used the red dust to get away, Griffith said. But he will not get far. He's using borrowed magic. It is not very strong. I'm glad the dragon stone is safe, said Bo. And I know we can't give it to Emperor Song. But I do not know what to do. He will keep my family in prison if we do not give the stone to him. He looked like he was about to cry. Then Drake saw something. Bo's dragon stone was glowing. Bo, look, he said, pointing. Bo looked down. His eyes grew wide. He was quiet for a moment. Then a huge grin spread across his face. It's happening, he cried. Shu is speaking to me inside my head. End of chapter eight. See you soon for chapter nine.